Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me for another episode of In the Cloud with 2600 Hertz. I'm your host, Clint Mose, and this month I'll be talking with two members of the team at Zarios Technologies. Zarios's flagship offering, Dimensions, is a powerful cloud-based call analytics platform. In March of 2020, we at 2600 Hertz began a strategic partnership with Zarios, which focused specifically on strengthening our call center pro application with the reporting and analytics might of Dimensions. Joining me today from Zarios are Jimmy Lim and Carly Adams. Jimmy is the Vice President of Cloud Products at Zarios and specializes in business development, product management, and go-to-market execution. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Clint. Thanks for having me. We're also joined by Carly Adams, who is the Head of Channel Sales at Zarios. From call recording to IVR to CRM integration, Carly is a one-stop shop for info on Zarios's Dimensions platform. Hi, Carly. Welcome to the pod. Hi, Clint. Thanks for having us. All right. Before we get too far into the conversation, why don't we take a minute for introductions? Could you both introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about what you're up to at Zarios? Yes, Clint. Hi. Thanks for having me again. I'm really happy to be here. Yes, uh, I'm Jimmy. A lot of uh, folks out in the uh, community probably know me, but just like to reintroduce myself. So um, uh, I'm responsible for North American cloud products at Zerios. I'm responsible for uh, the business side, for the product side, and for the sales support side. So I'm a jack of all trades, if you say, if you will, just to ensure that our uh, customer service that we offer to our to the partners is uh, is the highest we can offer. Uh, hi, Clint, Carly Adams. Uh, so I'm based over in the UK, and for the last sort of seven and a half years, I've been supporting our UK-based resellers take our products to market, the call recording, IVR, um, and analytics stuff that particularly we were doing with an on-premise. Uh, more recently, I've picked up um, some support of the marketing efforts at, here at Zarios. So I'm kind of covering the marketing efforts cross-continent, uh, supporting Jimmy with any marketing requirements he needs for the Dimensions product, and then providing that same support out to um, other customers across the globe. Great. Well, that sounds that sounds awesome. And I think you both will have, you know, some really interesting perspectives from the same company to kind of inform our conversation here. So, um, with the intros out of the way, let's just hop into our chat. For some of our listeners that are either new to the Kazoo ecosystem or perhaps need a bit of a refresher on our previous episode with you, could you kind of fill us in? What does this partnership with Zarios Dimensions bring to our Kazoo platform? And maybe more importantly, as this is kind of an update episode, has any new functionality been added as part of the partnership since that initial rollout in 2020? I'll start it off. Yeah, it has been a really successful partnership we had with 2600 Hertz. Our Dimensions Call Analytics solution is really complementary to the Kazoo platform. So it's been a really synergistic, if I may use that word, uh, partnership where we each bring our strengths to the table. Our solution brings to our customers great insight that they never had before. You can you can see how detail in detail how our calls how the calls are being handled how they how they use their telecom resources whether it's fully utilized or underutilized uh, how their personnel are performing so that they can identify star performers so overall it gives you metrics on just how well the business operations are doing and lets you identify areas for improvement. In t I'll take the second piece if that's okay. So in terms of uh, new functionality. Since the partnership began in 2020, there's been a ton of new features added into Dimensions. I'll run through just a few of them, um, but obviously, as Zarios is being a software development company, it's an ever-changing, ever-evolving offering that's available to Kazoo customers. So we've got um, a Connect Desktop application, which gives status and availability. It gives group availability so agents can log in and log out. Um, we've also added in the most recent update something called presence profiles. So users or, or resellers might be aware of a find me, follow me type feature sure. that's been around yeah. for, for many years, many years. And it has been available on the Kazoo platform, but it's not necessarily been that easy for an end user to access feature wise. So presence profiles 
gives the user a really nice way of being able to control where their calls are delivered. They can have some different profiles if they're on the road or working at home and they can tell the system where to deliver their calls and which devices really simply. We've added in a soft phone in the desktop as well. There's headset support, busy lamp field support, and that's just in the one area of, of the Connect desktop app. There's contact directory support been added as well. So we can have uh, customer information loaded into the kazoo, which can then be presented in, in the Connect desktop app. Playback of call recordings. So obviously the Kazoo platform handles the physical recording of the call, but what we've done with Dimensions is given a, a nice wraparound to being able to play back and, and set permissions as to who can and can't access various calls within the organisation. So we can look at individual users listening to their own calls, department managers listening to groups of calls, or then, you know, full admin rights where they have access to everything. Uh, and we've put, we've put some more enhanced report options in as well. So route path reports have been really popular. I know, you know Jimmy's been particularly excited about the introduction of the route path reports for customers. So it, it gives visibility to users of the route that the calls come in. So it does give true cradle to grave reporting from the second it arrives at the system with an auto attendant all the way through to when the call leaves. So loads of changes uh, and additions to, to the Dimensions offering with Kazoo. If I may just in, interject, we actually had posted recent articles on our website. Those uh, most recent three articles is the the top the features and benefits that uh, that we offer with Dimensions. Another article is our top most popular uh, reports that are available with Dimensions. And as Carly has mentioned, our call recording um, our complementary solution to the Kazoo platform, where we offer playback and downloading. On a, on a control basis. So we actually have multiple uh, articles that we recently posted describing these recent enhancements on the, on the solution. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll make sure to um, link out to those resources in the show notes of this, as I'm sure a lot of our partners would be really interested in reading a little bit more on that. And, you know, going through, you know, reflecting back on the introduction, right, we, we sort of rolled out this integration as initially focused on backing our call center solution but it seems both carly the new features that you pointed out as well as jimmy sort of what you were talking to about you know how we've become you know we have we're working with really complementary solutions and the partnership has been really synergistic i'm wondering if both of you could maybe speak to how kazoo users are engaging with the um with the zario integration today right so if it, it started initially as a call center solution are is that held up? Are people using using the Zarios integration primarily for to support their call center, or is this? Are you seeing applications by Kazoo users kind of expanding well beyond that? I think we still continue to have a heavy focus on the call center pro, but what we're seeing is a much higher percentage of users using Dimensions outside of the contact center arena. So for you know analytics with the desktop client and, and wall boards, which don't necessarily sit within a what we would say a standard call center environment. Um, but this is all, it's not just North America that we've seen this. We've also seen this across uh, Europe and like the Far Eastern countries as well. So it's not unique to North America. It does seem to be a, a more global thing where the use of, of analytics outside of contact center is being adopted more and more. That is true. That is true because our initial uh, um, introduction into the marketplace was geared primarily at the contact center, uh, especially aligning up with the contact center pro offering about, I guess it's been two years now. So it's been, uh, it's been quite uh, uh, interesting and quite exciting in fact. But as we were getting ourselves introduced into the marketplace, we found um, requests or uh, interests outside of contact centers. So we actually see our implementation, our, our solution being deployed in various non-contact centers where let's say uh, our, or ad hoc contact centers. Um, we actually have customers who are actually using our solution for just simple ring groups in, in the work groups where, uh, where the users and not agents are actually uh, configured within ring groups. And customers like this. Customers like it to say that First ones, uh, the, the incoming call rings all, all users and the first one that answers gets the call. So this is more of an informal contact center and using our solution with the tools that we provide within contact center environments or outside of it, 
it seems very compelling. We have wild boards that would actually list it up. So like I was saying, we actually, our, our, our uh, environment is very conducive for, uh, for um, environments that may not necessarily be, be a formal contact center uh, as well. I think it's also making sure that potential resellers of the Kazoo platform and, and the dimensions option as well, don't look at it and go, oh, it's only a contact center, that's not us. We don't fit into that bracket. So this wouldn't be something that we would look at because actually that's not the case that you can have very small customers with quite low usage that would still benefit from looking at analytics and, and reports for their business and, and how the calls are being handled when they're coming in. Yeah, I was just about to say that's true, right? Because it, it's customers who are who, who just simply want to know how how their telecom resources are being used, how their trunks are, are, are being utilized or underutilized. We have customers that actually implemented our solution just to just to uh, observe how how their trunking resources are being used, and sometimes they actually see that uh, some trunks, some DIDs are uh, underutilized, right? They're used less often. So they said, "Wow, this is really interesting that we did we didn't know that. How else would they have known that?" Some of their telecom resources were being underutilized, and they weren't being fully, they weren't being optimized. I'd say so. This was really great insight that we provided to those customers. Both of you have set me up for a perfect segue into the next topic, which is, you know, I kind of wanted to take a little bit of a step back here, and um, you know, outside the specifics of our partnership, and chat a little bit more about the industry in general. And I think you both have spoken directly to the idea, right, that call analytics as solely something that you need if you have a contact center, if you have a call center, is sort of a thing of the past, right? Like people are wanting to have, as you put it, Jimmy, um, insight into how their telecom resources are being used and able to make, you know, fine-tune adjustments as needed to, you know, improve efficiencies, to cut down on costs, to keep an eye on operational costs, all of those great things. So as I mentioned, our partnership launched sort of right before lockdown started in March of 2020. We're obviously in a very different place these days. While there certainly will be large holdouts and major exceptions, it, it really appears that we've settled into this model of hybrid work and remote works as, you know, just here to stay. So I'd love to hear either both of you talk about how you think call analytics could benefit either a hybrid or a fully remote work model. Do you see analytics as kind of a key tool to having a successful hybrid or remote workforce? Yeah. Yeah, the reality is today it is going to be a hybrid workplace, right? There's no doubt about it, right? So employees want the flexibility to work from home when they need to, right? And I, we were actually seeing this before the pandemic uh, arrived back uh, prior to March 2021, 20. I think around there. Yeah. So we were seeing this. It's just accelerated. So we are seeing a lot more uh, remote workers work from home, workers at uh, working from home. So when, when this does occur, what are, what's the, what's available to you? What are the tools available for you to manage your team who are so dispersed, who are, who are, who are located different, you know, all in different places remotely? And we're seeing that more and more. And, and we have seen it, uh, even now. So we wanted, we saw that there was a need. Our customers wanted to have reports, wanted to see even in real time how their teams are doing. They won't be able to see, and they're not all in the office. So they needed tools and solutions that will actually allow them to monitor their team, both historically as well as in real time. And that's why we're seeing our dimensions um, solution so apropos for this. And that's why we're seeing so much demand for this type of reporting, especially in today's world with 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 remote workers, if not COVID. We know that COVID is uh, coming to an end. We just simply know that workers have gotten used to be working away from the office and you need tools to report on it. Great, yeah, and I would say, you know, all of that sounds amazing and, you know, it's exactly what you both hit on, right? Like analytics doesn't have to be, you know, real time what's going on in the call center. While that is a great feature and function that you can get through this partnership, it can also just be, you know, where's my team at? When are they logging in? What's their call handling volume? If, you know, um, salesperson A is just, you know, you pull his numbers and just stacked back to back to back, how can you reallocate resources to support him or her? Where, you know, 
what other salespeople are on the phone less so that you can kind of divvy out the workload that way. Um, I think is a great, is a really great use case. Potentially use it as a, not as leverage as such, but you know, we can offer the, they can offer flexible working for staff. Absolutely. Because they can use the statistics that are available to them to check performance and measure this, but they can use that with their employees say to look, you know, we can offer you this great flexibility, but what we need to see is that there's the trade off, isn't there? We will give you the flexibility, but we need to see that performance doesn't suffer as a result. And this yeah. will absolutely give them that. Yeah, that's a great point. I would say um, another sort of major thing that we've all been thinking, right? If it's not the pandemic moving everybody remote and then return to office plans, hybrid plans, remote plans, what everything is doing. Um, another major issue that businesses have been facing and that we've been thinking a lot about here, especially stateside, has been what's been dubbed the great resignation and the strains it has been putting on businesses who are trying to retain customers with an, ex with an outstanding CX while also having to deal with high employee turnover and a difficult time finding resources and assets on the labor market. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on how call analytics could help businesses in 2022 dealing with these issues. How could an integrated tool like Dimensions help a Kazoo user maintain and possibly improve efficiency in their business processes? Well, yeah, so I, I think take a step back in terms of the great resignation, there, it is happening. It is real because there is a shortage of labor and whether that's, whether that's workers getting used to knowing that they can work from home because they've seen it. It's real. It is possible to work from home. I think that's what we realized with this, with this, what the pandemic has shown us. We knew this was happening, right? It's just, it was just accelerated. We were always supporting remote workers. So we had the tools in terms of communications to support these remote workers or work from home or work from home, excuse me. So now we now that it's been accelerated, we need the tools in order to monitor, allow these work remote workers, allow these workers to, to work remotely. But we still need to ensure we're getting the most out of these employees. And that's why our management tools, our, our call reporting tools, our analytic tools allows that to monitor our team as if they were in the same building. I think that's what's happening. Employers, businesses need to provide the flexibility for those workers who, who, who do have a say in how they, and where they work, how they work, because that's just, that's just the reality of what we have today. So um, companies, businesses need to, need to keep up with that in terms of this new work, in terms of this new workforce. I think that's a great perspective. You know, I think, Maybe people's brains, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly guilty of this, are kind of hardwired to think about things of like this time period ends and then this time period started. But I think it's a really good perspective to think about this. Um, a lot of the issues the industry has been facing over the last three or so years aren't necessarily, you know, there is a there's a firm chapter end March 2020 and everything after that is. But it's 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 not a new era. It's a transition to or an acceleration of all of the trends we had been seeing for, um, as you as you mentioned, Jimmy, sort of like the the years building up to 2020. Yeah, dare I say we use words like teleworker, teleworking. These were happening way before the pandemic uh, pandemic hit us. We just seen that oh, this is gonna take another five, ten years, and before it happens, no, with the pandemic, <laughs> it happened within less than two years. So people are people are wanting to work from home. And if they don't get the ability or chance to do it, they're just going to go to somewhere else to find another job that will allow them to work from home. So this, you can't stop it, but surely you could have the right tools in order to manage these new, this new workforce, right? And that's what we offer, right? Case in point, case in point. So we know that the Kazoo platform provides, uh, um, uh, provides call recording, right? Uh, inherently, it's working great, especially with its uh, recent introduction of storage on Google and AWS. So everything was fine. And I, I seen on the forums that this was really, this was a great feature introduction. But then I saw subsequent requirements uh, asked is about how can you limit control who gets access to any of those recordings? Can individual users gain access to these call recordings? Do they have access to their own, to their group, or in all call recordings? So with call recording solutions, you really need to control access because that's just, 
uh, good business practice. And that's why we actually, uh, within, we actually introduce uh, call recording playback and downloading both uh, uh, on an individual basis or as a group or for, our, for the entire business in its entirety. So we saw this need and we complemented the, uh, the Kazoo platform's great call recording feature with, our, uh, with the specific ability to download and to play back and download those call recordings. And it's actually a standard feature in our solution. There's no way beyond, beyond the storage costs associated with the call recording of the, of the Kazoo platform, our playback and download and access is actually come standard with our solution. That's great. I mean, talk about, you know, you referred to, you referred to the partnership is synergistic and super collaborative. I think that's just such a great case, uh, use case in action, right? Rolling out a feature on our end, seeing the response on the forums and working with us to kind of come up with a solution that Zarios can sort of own. So that's, that's, I think that, you know, the platonic ideal of like a really good strategic partnership. So. Right. It's, That's it, is really, it works very well that way as well. If we look at a lot of the enhanced additional reports that were added or that have been added over the last sort of two years of this relationship, a lot of those have been requested by resellers and their customers. Ah, oh, it'd be really great if we could have a report that did this. Okay, great. We can have a look and, and that's added. So the, the product isn't rigid. If you like, it's not that's how it is and, and it will never change. We do take the feedback from, from people who are selling the product it would be great if we could have a feature that did X or, you know, Y, Z, and we can look at that and we can look at incorporating it into the software for them. Yeah, that's, that's just so great. I know everybody over here has just been so happy with the partnership over the last few years that it's been going on. And we look forward to continuing to work with you all over there. Sadly, we are running out of time, but it was really great having you both on the podcast, Jimmy and Carly. Thanks again. Thanks, Clint. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Our pleasure, Glenn. Thank you for having us. All right. If you'd like to learn more about Zarios, be sure to check out their website and give them a follow on LinkedIn and Twitter to see what exciting updates they're making to the Dimensions platform. I'll be sure to drop a link to everything in the show notes, especially those resources that Jimmy mentioned earlier in the episode. For our listeners, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this episode and subscribe wherever you're listening. And while you're there, write us a review. It only takes a second and is a huge help to all of us here at Team 2600 Hertz. Until next time, thanks everyone.